Hey guys, welcome to Travel Related. Today, Trey and I are gonna talk about the Osprey Farpoint 55 liter backpack. Trey and I are huge fans of Osprey and we absolutely see why it's so popular amongst travelers. It's durable, it's got tons of storage space, great security, and it's just an overall great backpack. So let's jump into this specific backpack and why it's so great. backpack since 2015. I bought it before a backpacking trip to Europe. So I've had it about four years. I did lots of research uh, when I was ready to buy a backpack and this is the one I landed on because so many people recommended it and I couldn't be happier with it. It's held up remarkably well and Osprey also offers a lifetime guarantee on all their products. So if anything breaks or rips, they will repair it or replace it for free. Even though it doesn't fit the exact sizes for carry-on, you can just zip off your day pack and use that as your personal item. Now Trey's going to demonstrate the backpack to you and show you all of its great features. Let's first look at one of my favorite features about it and that is the detachable day pack. A lot of other bags don't have this and if you want a separate bag to carry with you during the day, you have to stuff it inside your, your main bag. So with this one, just unclip it and then it's got a zipper and you just unzip it. And there is the separate day pack. Okay, so it does have a small pouch right here. Then, if we look inside, you can see the size of the, the pouch. Then on the inside, there is a mesh pocket right here that you can zip. And then in here, it's got a laptop pouch that can fit a laptop really easily. Then in the back, there is another pouch if you wanted to put a water bladder. It is padded right here, so, so the part that goes against your back is padded. But yeah, it's pretty simple. It's only 15 liters for the day pack. The main pack is 40 liters. Now let's look at the main pack. Again, this, is, this part is 40 liters. Down here at the bottom, it has a couple of loops that you can adjust and they clip off. This thing has lots of clips and adjustable straps, but this is intended for like a sleeping mat, but you can put all kinds of other things inside those loops and secure them. The inside, it opens like a suitcase. So a lot of the other bags that you'll see, like the trekking style bags are top loaded, and those can be really difficult to get to the things that you're looking for in your bag if something's at the bottom. So this makes it really easy to find what you're looking for. There's more straps on the inside so you can cinch down and secure uh, things that are in there. There are two more mesh pouches. Then on the outside you have your main shoulder straps. You can adjust the length here and here. Also there's some more adjustment straps right here that you can pull to get make the bag fit tight against your back so you can make it fit your body correctly. On these little straps there's one on this one and on the day pack it's a whistle. So yeah it has two whistles on it just in, in case you, you were ever in trouble and you needed to get somebody's attention. So that's kind of a cool little feature. You can carry it with the day pack attached on the outside of the main pack or something I do a lot. You can also carry this in the front. There are clips right here. Just clips on. carry the day pack in the front 
So I carry it like this a lot um, when you're going through airports and you have a lot of stuff you need to get to easily. Um, I put my passport and tickets and all that stuff just right here. So it's really easy to get to. Also, if you're in a crowded area and you might be concerned about pickpocketing, you can put your most important stuff right here and it's, it's right there, you've got it, it's secure and you don't have to worry about anybody getting it. Okay, so now I've got the bag packed up so you can kind of see what it looks like. There's a way you can secure all, all these straps, like the hip straps and the shoulder straps. There is a little flap in here, secured by Velcro, which you can just take out. Put it like this and zip it up. And it pretty much turns the backpack into a suitcase. There's a padded handle here and one here. And then when, if you want to convert it back into a backpack, just unzip that. And you can fold this flap and kind of roll it. And there is Velcro right here. And there's more Velcro on the inside. So you just roll it and it catches that Velcro, and then you're back to a backpack. And then, if you want to put the day pack back on, you can just tuck these shoulder straps out of the way, or you can tuck them in where the water bladder would go. You can tuck it in there like that if you want. A lot of times I don't do that, I just throw it on there, and just lay it flat, and then, can zip, just zip it on. And that's it. So now you're fully loaded again. The price has pretty much stayed the same since I bought mine four years ago. It was $180 on Osprey's website then, and it's the same now. We've got a link in the description to find these on Amazon and they're less, I want to say they're about 150 or 160, um, but you can check out that link if you want to look at this bag or some other ones that they make. They've got a, a bunch of them. I don't know when I'll ever need to get another one. If Osprey comes out with a better one, I might upgrade to that one later, but this one still fits my needs pretty much perfectly, and if anything ever goes wrong, I can have it fixed. So I may not be buying a new backpack for a long time. If you're planning on traveling anytime soon, we highly recommend Osprey. I'm so excited because I'm getting ready to buy my own backpack and I'm actually gonna get the Fairview version. So be on the lookout for that video. Today's travel related question is, what's the most important feature to you when it comes to looking for a backpack? Is it comfort, security, storage? Let us know in the comments below. For more travel related content, make sure to hit subscribe and give us a like. And follow us on Instagram, at travelrelated26. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See you next time. Bye y'all.